My name is <coughs> excuse me. My name is Peter Larson. I'm a geologist and paleontologist with the Black Hills Institute of Geological Research in Hill City, South Dakota, and uh, we've been working uh, scientifically in Hardin County since 1992, working on the Nemi Ranch and other other ranches around the county. Um, I am I am an expert in paleontology, but I'm not paid by the Trans Trans Canada, nor am I paid by anyone else. Uh, I'm here. Uh, as, as well as uh, my people have been working on this project um, in defense of the fossils and uh, that, that are very abundant uh, in Harding County and elsewhere throughout the state. Um, it's interesting that I was only allowed, or this, this pardon me, I was allowed to accompany the pipeline survey crew, I and, and uh, five of our people. Uh, as they worked through Harding County, they also in Harding County hired uh, a consulting firm to look at paleontology and that's as far as I know the only place that they looked at paleontology and it was done only because uh, the ranchers in that county actually brought legal action to allow me to accompany that pipeline and they spent literally thousands of dollars of their money to make sure that paleontology was looked at. Um, I have uh, some statements, uh, a couple of letters that I have uh, sent to various people during this process and I'd like to uh, give those to you before I leave the before I leave the podium. Um, in working in Harding County um, we did actually a map here that I'm including as well of a portion of Harding County which shows uh, the, the extreme density of fossil sites that are found just on one ranch alone and uh, it lists the, the various uh, fossils that were, were found there. Um, through following the pipeline survey crew, it's important to note that there is only about 5% of that land which actually goes through exposures of the Hell Creek Formation, but more like 90% of the county where we go through the Hell Creek Formation, which is one of the most important time frames uh, in, in terms of the science of paleontology, it helps us to understand about global climate change. This is the period surrounding the impact of this, of this giant asteroid that occurred about 65 million years ago. And uh, we're still learning a tremendous amount about what effect that had on life forms here on Earth, which is very important in our understanding as to what, we, what damage we can be doing to the planet today and not even, uh, not even realizing when, when you pass thresholds what happens to life. Um, Again, only about 5% of the county where this pipeline went across was exposures of the Hell Creek. However, 90% will actually be digging into the Hell Creek of this, uh, uh, the, uh, through Harding County uh, itself. And that is when they will find fossils. It's not like archeological sites or uh, uh, historical sites where you see things on the surface. Uh, on the contrary, if it's grassed over, you're not gonna see anything until you dig. And when you dig, you will find things. And we're, we're very, uh, concerned that these fossils, which when they are found, uh, uh, there, there needs to be a mechanism where if it's something of importance, you should have, they should have a paleontologist on site at all times. While they're digging, they dig, I've been told, something at the rate of a mile to a mile and a half a day, so they're going to be going through a lot of land in a, in a very fast order, and you're not going to see something until, uh, in some cases, it's going to be too late. But still, you may be able to salvage a lot of these fossils that otherwise would be lost. And I think it's uh, important, if this plan, plan goes through, um, that, that these fossils are taken into consideration. Um, the federal government has just recently, this year, passed the Paleontological Protection Act, which was part of the omnibus spending mill for the, um, for the Department of Interior. And that makes it a felony on public land, on public federal land, for someone to destroy a fossil or even to uh, collect a fossil without the proper permit papers. That shows how important the federal government thinks these fossils are. And it is always the, 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 the Bureau of Land Management, for instance, when they cross their land, they all, uh, pipeline companies always have to have a survey, uh, paleontologist with them and those paleontologists have the ability to shut this down. Now, the county also owns a lot, a lot of land and there's a little bit of state land that's crossed in Harding County. Um, it would be, I think, very advisable not just to have the uh, paleontologists in Harding County, but through the other counties as well. As, you, as one of our speakers mentioned here from Tripp County, 
that there are fossils there as well. Now, it's not perhaps as critical of time period. It's, it's uh, we're looking more at something that's more like 10 million years old, but still, um, it, there could be something that's significant, of significant scientific value and significant economic value to the ranchers themselves, which, would, which will be lost if so, somebody's not watching out for it. Um, so I, I guess I'm, 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 my, my basic statement is that I'm very concerned about these fossils and what's going to happen when this pipeline goes through if, if nobody's watching over it. Thanks very much, Mr. Larson. And I, uh, Commissioner Colbeck did bring up your comments today during our hearing and uh, made reference to your letter and your comments at Buffalo. So, you know, certainly the commission is listening and even brought you up today. Uh, Commissioner Colbeck, anything else to add? That's just I just want to thank you for your letter. Um, it actually prompted me to ask some questions, and um, it's good information to have. So I appreciate you sending that to us. Um, we do. I don't think this is speaking out of school, but there there were experts who talked on paleontology today, and we did discuss them. Um, it is in the record, and I think that's probably all I can say about the document item. But you could you could you tell me who those experts were? Um, I I, was, I guess Mr. Smith I was at a play in our case. Yeah. Let's go ahead and have Ms. Semler and uh, Mr. Larson speak, and we, she can kind of brief you on what sort of witnesses lineup she's had today and, and plans to have tomorrow. Okay. That's and and uh, if you would like some more information from me at any time, um, I'll leave this with my telephone numbers and all that too, so uh, an email, and I'll leave that with, I guess, whoever I'm going to be talking to. Yeah, Ms. Semler right there. And are any of those yeah. maps confidential, Mr. Larson? I'm sorry? Are any of those maps confidential? <coughs> This, uh, I think I wouldn't publish them, no. Okay, um, they are, we, can, we can mark them as confidential. Just just <laughs> stay within the committee, and, and so you see, you can see some of the uh, uh, density of some of these fossil sites, and this is all on a private ranch, and um, uh, I'm sure that, you know, we don't want them to put it out for everybody, because everybody and their kids. There's three T-Rex sites, by the way, where this, the pipeline grows, uh, there, there are three T-Rex sites which are within a quarter section of land, and it goes right in, right in, right through that, and that's an, a, a, it's a historic site as well as as uh, because these specimens have been uh, collected. But this is a historic site where these specimens were located, and we and, and paleontologists need access to those sites to go back because we learn more and more about uh, how to take data and how to uh, you know how to understand life of the past. And without access to those sites, or if these sites are destroyed. It's, it's, it's not a good thing. Look, look, before you hand any papers over, if you don't want them, everything we get gets published on the web. If you don't want this published on the web, we need to have your right confidential at the top of every single page. Okay, there's just Sorry. one, just the map. Okay, anything you give that you can't go on the web and is confidential, go ahead and mark confidential on the top okay. of that. Thanks very much. Dusty, I do have a question. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, Commissioner. <laughs> that's, that's no problem. Uh, I very much appreciate your testimony or the information that you provided to us when we were, it seems like when we were in Buffalo, correct? Yes. And uh, as you said earlier, and this evening as well. Uh, we had, in part of the discussion uh, to that we had today, and we're going to have a little bit more, I believe, on, in, tomorrow on paleontology, and I'm curious uh, what your thought would be pertaining to uh, prioritization of, of fossils to an extent. We heard uh, a little bit today that there may be somewhat of a uh, prioritization in uh, invertebrates compared to vertebrates, uh, recognizing that there's a, a whole host of uh, cephalopods and and trilobites uh, are, seem to be fairly plentiful in that area from the standpoint of fossil fuels. Yes, T-Rex are, are pretty, pretty rare. Uh, what would you think of a prioritization to an extent of, of the, fossils? Um, in terms of my research and my view of what the priorities would be, Harding County is probably the most sensitive, one of the most sensitive spots in the nation. And, and actually, as they go through Montana near Baker, Montana, they're gonna have the same problems and up near Fort Peck, Montana, and uh, uh, the, this pipeline is going to encounter uh, things which are uh, quite possibly very, very significant in our understanding of, again, cl global climate change as well as, as, as just how much a population can change from just small amounts of change in our climate. And um, uh, so that, that would be my priority is Harding County, the most important. 
there are fossils throughout the line, and I think it would be uh, advantageous to have a paleontologist there to try to salvage what they could as they're going through and uh, uh, make things, you know, to, to watch it. But, but uh, I, almost the entire uh, length of Harding County where the pipeline goes is, is, is through, through the Hell Creek Formation and right at that KT boundary. It goes, it goes above, the, above the, the impact zone or above the, the extinction event, and it goes down back down into it again several times and, and could be some really, really significant things that, that uh, will show up while that's happening. And Thank I think you. It, they need to be paid attention to. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Larson. Two comments. We are trying to work on the windows. We're not trying to sweat anybody out of the room. Um, they have uh, 